welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And this place is rocking after the starting lineups were announced. An incredible playoff atmosphere. Opening tip in just a moment. We've been building to this all season. The NBA Finals. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, our reporter Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Allie, take it away. Well, last season, Stephen Curry set the Warriors franchise record for scoring passing Wilt Chamberlain. Steph said, quote, anytime you hear his name, it's daunting. You understand how great he was. But rather than reflect... Curry said it's more productive to stay in the moment and look forward to what... Ali, appreciate it. Good stuff. You take a look at the Celtics. A whole year of blood, sweat, and tears comes down to this. This is when the lights are their brightest, VA. The eyes of the whole world fixed upon you. Do you have what it takes to win it all? And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Robert Williams out there with Al Horford. And it's Pritchard in at the point. And for Golden State, the core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Demanja Bielita. Now here's Brown. Down low. Here's Horford. The rebound by Wiggins. Here's Thompson. Pass to Green. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal With foul. that violent pinball style, Draymond draws a high number of fouls. Draymond Green taking two shots. No good on the second free throw. Brown draws the double. Here's Pritchard. Carries it down low. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces. Nice pass. Now here's Curry. Not a lot of room. Here's Green. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. First quarter of play, a minute in. Knocked away. Curry with a seal. They're running. Ball's going up the court. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. At least the over-the-back call comes from playing hard. But you'd like to see him get better position. Yeah, sometimes he's going to keep the possession alive. Sometimes he's going to commit the foul. Williams passes to Tatum. Out to Horford. Shoots it from the corner. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And look, I respect how Horford rarely tries to move out of his skill level. He knows what he can do and does it well. Willing passes, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Curry. Pritchard gets it to go. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. The three from Curry. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Able to stop one down with four speed. Curry with a pass. Pass to Williams. Now here's Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Brown with it. Defended by Thompson. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. They've come out with guns blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep field. Oh, a flawless finish on the line. Boy, it made Green Hay by finding the open team. Here's Pritchard. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. And Green comes to help. Back to Pritchard. The kick to Tatum. Five on the clock. And finished off by Tatum. The merciless dunk right there by Tatum. Reminded the defense. He's unstoppable. Here's Curry. 
and the layup falls. Curry's got seven. He must have had a good warm up because he's hot. He's three for four already, and we're only getting started. Here's Pritchard. Timeout called for the Celtics. Yeah, coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. The new group getting ready for the Warriors. So Dominga, so. he's checked in for Bielitsa. Porter Jr. comes in for Wiggins. Payton's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Poole in for Curry. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Williams. Smith comes in for Jason Tatum. White, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. Now here's Poole. Outside Payton. Green, the pass to Poole. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got three assists now in this one. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. It's talk about great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Here's White. Pass to Smart. Here's Neesmith. And that one hits the back iron. The Warriors have gone 6 of 7 and looking good. Here's Poole. Here's Payton. Here's Kaminga. Left side, Payton. Poole with the ball. 4-3. He's off on that one. A minute 37 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Neesmith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I don't mind that for me. They met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. We had a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passion in the first half has been outstanding. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Golden State calls timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors dance team. All right, fans, that was your Warriors dance team. Makes Golden State has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Cool, the pass to Green. Now Peyton beyond the arc. Unable to get that one. A minute 15 left in the first quarter here. Now here's White. He's covered closely. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Even a blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while, right? I did not think that was good. Inside, Kuminga. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Yeah, and this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spot and cashing in. Now, here's Williams. To the paint. Here's Horford. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have got seven of their ten shots to fall. Porter, the pass to Green. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Al Horford. Some people call Draymond dirty. I say for sure. Sneaky. Using the great pump fake to draw the foul. Williams has checked in for Boston. That's off as well, so he misses both. Boston on offense. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Neesmith's shot is off. It's an even three on three break. And here's Porter outside. Boston with a rebound. Pass to White. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. White's got his second bucket of the night. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. It's the Celtics leading by just two. And the second quarter about... And the championship medal of Stephen Curry, not in question. He understands the mental approach. Necessary. Stay in the moment and just focus on here and now. Uh, we have to follow that kind of you know, game plan. Well, in years past, the Warriors were...
for the juggernaut. Grant, now they've got some competition. And Steph, one of four players in NBA history to win multiple scoring titles, rings, and league MVPs. I mean, B.A., you can't argue with his methods. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. Check out a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Look, they came out of the locker room hot, and it got contagious. They've been knocking down jumpers like they were layups in the first half. Also, their aggressiveness in the first half tonight has allowed them to score more than a few points off penetration. The core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Nemanja Bialica is out there with Andrew Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. A six foot four, 220 pounds. Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. Pritchard's checked in for Williams. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Bielitsa. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. The way Curry reads the floor, he could average double digit assist anytime he wants. The Celtics shooting very well, 62% and going right at the defense. Up top Tatum, pounded by Wiggins. And here is Williams. That one falls. Williams has got his first basket. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Warriors shooting an efficient 57% tonight. It's stolen by Smart. To the inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. He misses the free throw. Moody's checked in for Green. Two shots. He does not get the second one. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Defensive foul. Peyton Pritchard. The multi-time champion and relentless competitor. I mean, Curry's drive to be an all-time great is admirable. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Williams. And they'll give that one to Nemanja Bielica. That's foul number two for him. Second quarter of action. About a minute and a half play. Brown. Ooh, lands soft on the front of the rim and drops in. And the Celtics lead by three. Uh, and, and Brown is a reliable threat for mid-range. I mean, effortlessly rising up to the nice-looking jet. The three from Curry sinks it from distance. Curry's got six in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. The three from Curry. That one doesn't drop. And Boston going the other way now. Smart outside. Pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. Let's go with the three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And it's a five-point Boston lead. You can't let Tatum fire away from there. He's capable of really hurting the Celtics. He drops it from range. They are shooting it well from beyond the mark right now. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Williams with it. Back to Pritchard. Shoots over Curry. From seven feet. And there's the bucket as Brown finishes it off. Brown's got six points. Uh, I tell you what, Brown is a powerful wing player. You, you'd like to get him the ball inside. Golden State calls timeout. And some changes here for the Celtics. Horford, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Neesmith in for Smart. Golden State has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Curry finds some space. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And he, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. And that's a foul. 
called on Stephen Curry. That's got to be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Williams has checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. Pass to White. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Neesmith shot is off. You can't hit that one. His teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Curry finds Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Thompson's got six in the quarter. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Boston trailing. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the break. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. Fifteen foul. That's good from White. At the line for the Celtics. Derek White. At the line for two. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Golden State has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Sinks another one. He's on the roll. Starting four for four. We got love Sam Thompson. Flex his muscles on these shots. Doing well the power through the defense. Pass to Tatum. Now here's Williams. There's the double team with Porter. The kick to Tatum. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got eight. No second thoughts from Tatum. Ready to fire. Curry against White. And the Warriors get it back. Porter the pass to Payton. Here's Kaminga. Thompson outside. Off target from three-point range. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's White. They grab their own miss. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. Thompson picks one up. Well, that was clearly a foul. And he makes the first. And some changes here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. 114 left in the second quarter. Golden State is gone 5 of 12 from three point range tonight. Porter. And that comes off the assist by Green. Porter's got his first two points. Porter is very athletic at six foot eight. I mean, he's effective at carving his way through the deep. And Boston calls time here. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And the loudest sexy T-shirt. Is it you? Let me hear you. One oh two left in the first half. Pass to Nee Smith. Now Tatum, give him eight. With the floater, count that one. White's got six points in the quarter. Jason, oh, impressive ball handling from Tatum. He attracts the other team's focus and then finds the other one. Yeah, plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this time? Williams gets the bucket on the assist by White. The Warriors trailing. Cool outside. Knocked loose. And here comes the break. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Order the pass to Poole. Drills it from deep. Poole's got his second basket on the night. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Outside Tatum. Up and over Porter. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtic. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Taking a look at the Celtics, they knew game one might be a hard-fought struggle, and tonight certainly has been that. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half to try and capture a 1-0 lead in this championship series. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They made a lot of trips to the free throw line. That speaks for how aggressive they've been, attacking at every opportunity. They're not playing with the finesse game that the other team's playing. And here we go. The NBA Finals continue here on 2K Sports. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. On the floor for Boston. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Robert Williams. And it's Pritchard in at the point. Here's Tatum. And that one comes up a bit short. Golden State has got six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Green, the pass to Curry. Back to Green. Now Thompson. Outside Curry. Over Williams. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's foul number two for him. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Williams passes to Horford. Now Tatum. And here is Williams. Green covering. Wiggins against Horford. Back to Williams. And Williams punches it home. I mean, he does things that other bigs simply can't. Horford, a phenomenal passer for his position. And here's Curry for three. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Curry with a steal. This for the tie. Curry with another miss. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Pritchard, no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Curry passes to Thompson. And the Warriors with another three. With Thompson's accuracy it makes him so hard to guard. He's a constant threat. For Boston, they've gone just one of three in the second half. That's tipped. Curry with it. Now Horford defending. And he lobs it up top. Curry passes to Green. Out to Thompson. The three from Curry. The rebound, Celtics. Brown's got five rebounds in the game. Tatum from long range. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Three-pointer. Brown's got three assists now in this one. They could have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. And the Warriors call time here. And the Warriors making a change here. Fools checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Smart's checked in for Horford. Poole, the pass to Thompson. On the wing, Green. Pounded by Tatum. And that one's good. Thompson. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. In transition, here come the Warriors. Bielitsa, that's good. And it's a three-point Warrior lead. Such a savvy player. I mean, in transition, Bielitsa has a keen sense for where he should run to. Here's Pritchard. He's got six. Williams. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Golden State has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Here's Wiggins. That one is off. Nice D from Brown. 
Here's Smart. That one's wide left. The Warriors have gone four of eight in the third. On the wing, Thompson. Poole outside. Back to Thompson. The three is up. Another three for Golden State. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And Boston, Boston calls time here. One of the stories here, Clay Thompson. Man, is he getting it done today? They got to start guarding him out to about 28 feet because he's killing from long range. Look who's coming out of the court. Changes for Boston. Williams has checked in for Jason Tatum. Neesmith comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's White in for Pritchard. Pass to Neesmith. White against Poole. White the pass to Williams. Back to White. And it's Poole with a rebound. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 14-5 run. Here's Thompson. Here he goes. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his sixth assist of the night. Boston has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. The put back. Rebounded by Bielitsa. The Warriors have got six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Thompson with it. Guarded now by Williams. Back to Thompson. Fires for three. Another three for Golden State. Well, with the roll, he's won this quarter. They're going to keep going to get that lead even bigger. Austin's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Count it. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Poole against Williams. Out to Thompson. Shots on the top of the key. Rebound Boston. There's 57 seconds left in the third. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. The Warriors leading. Wiggins outside. Pass to Bielitsa. Back to Wiggins. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. He's putting the hammer down. How many quarters are trying to push out that lead? Here's Lee Smith. 29 seconds left in the third. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. To the middle. Twenty seconds left to play in the third. Here's White. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. That free throw, no good. At the line for the second. There's White. At the line for two. And the second free throw is good. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, yeah. No need to get the ball back here. And you want to close this quarter with momentum. And they recover it. Horford with a steal. With one on the clock. No luck on that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've been lights out from deep. And it's a big re let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. It makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Kaminga is out there with Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Otto Porter. And it's Peyton in at the shooting guard position. That's the Warriors five. Boston trailing. Pass to White. Back to Smart. And there.
There's a whistle. That goes on Otto Porter. That's his first foul. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Horford for three. On target from range. He has the ability to stretch the floor effectively. I mean, that's what makes him such a coveted big man. Pass to Kaminga. Down low. Outside for Porter. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Porter. Not a great play on either end. Bad delivery and way too late to react on the catch. Smart with the ball. There's Tatum with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. That's the big reason this game is still so close. I mean, he's been lights out from long range. Oh, nice one-handed shame here, B.A. Hey, a little exclamation point. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Out to the right wing. Warford for three. Warriors with the rebound. Outside Curry. Fires from deep. Drops in the three. And now it's an eight-point Warrior lead. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Smart with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. Back to Smart. The three. That shot missing. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Shot is good by Curry. Curry's got five points in the quarter. This is what Curry does best. He's creative at getting into a rhythm and staying hot. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. And the Celtics call time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. He's checked in for Stephen Curry. Williams is checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Smart. Hey, guys, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during the break. He is not happy about their perimeter play at either end. They're getting killed with the three ball both ways. He said it's a battle they can't lose if they want to come out of here with the win. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Williams misses. They say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that's what it is. Brown against Poole. Pass to Payton. There's the three. The shot won't fall. And Boston going the other way now. Tatum with it. Poole picks him up. To the inside. Here's Williams. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw his coming his way. Foul. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust. And that's reflected in the score. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Porter. Back to Poole. From the arc. Buries it from three. Warriors lead by 10. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. But it had to be these days. You need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Kept alive. Brown can't hit. The Warriors have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Porter finds Poole. To the paint. Tatum with a steal. Pass to Pritchard. Now Williams. Inside. Tatum. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Finish. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's amazing. The creativity. And, and you see how fluid an athlete Tatum is. And the Warriors call time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle thing that can make the biggest difference. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. You just simply can't measure how valuable he's been to them tonight. Using his head, great shooting percentage, not taking any bad shots. Wow, that led to a pretty spectacular game. And it's a completely new group here for the Warriors. Bielita inside, working on Williams. The shot by Bielita, no good. Pass to Williams. 
to Brown. Curry with a steal. Here we go, one on one. Here's Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. Thompson's got 29 points. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors? Well, they played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steal in the game. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. And here's Curry. Launches the three. It's not going to go for him. Here's Pritchard. With a teardrop. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got four rebounds now. Golden State has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. The three from Curry. And the three-pointer goes. Curry's got eight points in the quarter. Confidence from that deep. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Warriors with possession here. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Gets the three ball to go. And as the clock winds down, it'll be interesting to see how both teams adjust in game two. But confidence building indeed for the Warriors. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Grant. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win. And they're off to a strong start in these NBA Finals. Going up 1-0. They really sent a clear message tonight that they intend to win this series. They play with real determination out there, and you just hope they can maintain this energy level. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Stephen Curry. Oh, the biggest impact he had even this on the ball defense. Such quick hands. He steals added up to a lot of extra possessions. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Horford draws the double. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Pritchard to stop the run. Pure from three-point range. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Well, it's a matter of pride. A matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. That's the dagger. You can tell they wanted that one. I know that's it. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Stefan, a slow start. Did something feel different for you in the second half? No, I just made some shots. Uh, it's really the best explanation I got for you. We uh, we got challenged at halftime in terms of getting a little edge around uh, what we were trying to accomplish tonight. Uh, it took us a while to really gain the minimum in this game. Well, the adjustments paid off. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. So long, everybody.